episode four about the giraffe and the pelly and me. Here we go, the pelican whispered to me. And with a swish and swoop, he carried me up to the very top of the cherry tree and there he perched. Pick them, Billy, he whispered. He whispered, pick them, pick them, quick, wait, um, pick them quickly and put them in my beak. The gardener got such a shock, he fell off the ladder. Down below us, the duke was shouting, my gun, get me my gun, some damnable bird, monster of a bird is stealing my best cherries. Be off with you, sir. Go away. Those are my cherries, not yours. I'll have you shot for this, sir. Where is my gun? Hurry, Billy, whispered the pelican. Hurry, hurry, hurry! My gun! The duke was shouting to the gardener. Get me my gun, you idiot! I'll have that thieving bird for breakfast. You see if I don't. I've picked them all, I whispered to the pelican. At once the pelly flew down right beside the furious figure duke of Hampshire, who was sprancing about his walking stick in the air. Your cherries, your grace, I said, as I leaned over the edge of the pelican's beak and offered a handful to the duke. The duke was staggered. He reeled back and his eyes nearly popped out of their sockets. Good Scott! He gasped. Great Lord, what's this? Who are you? And now the giraffe with the monkey dancing about on her back emerged suddenly from the bushes. The duke the dukes star the duke stared at them. He looked as though he was about to have a fit. Who are these creatures? He bellowed. Has the whole world gone completely dotty? We are the window cleaners, sang out the monkey. We will polish your glass till it's shining like glass, glass, brass, and it sparkles like sun on the sea. We will work for your grace till we're blue in the face. The giraffe and the pelly and me. You asked us to come, you see, the giraffe said. The truth was at last beginning to draw on the duke, to down on the duke. He, he put a cherry into his mouth and chewed it slowly. Then he spat out the stone. I like the way you picked these cherries for me, he, he said. Could you also pick my apples in the autumn? We could, we could, of course we could. We all shouted. Who are, and who are you? The Duke said, pointing his stick at me. He is our business manager. The giraffe said, he nay, his name is Billy. We go nowhere without him. Very well, 
very well. The Duke, the Duke mattered. Come, come along with me, and let's see if you you are any good at cleaning windows. I climbed down the pelican's beak, and the kind and the kindly old duke took me by the hand as we all walked towards the house. When we got there, the duke said, "What happens next?" It's all very simple, your grace. The giraffe replied, I am the ladder, the penny is the bucket, and the monkey is the cleaner. Watch us go! With, with that, the, fa the famous window cleaning gang sprang into action. The monkey jumped down from the giraffe's back and turned on the, the garden tap. The, pelly, the pelican held his great beak under the tap until it was full of water. Then, with a wonderful splintering leap, the monkey leapt, leaped, leaped one up once again on the giraffe's back. From there he scrambled as easily as if he was climbing a tree up the long, long neck of the giraffe until he, he stood balancing on the very top of her head. Oh. The pelican rem 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 the pelican remained standing on the ground beside us, looking up at the giraffe. We'll do the top floor first, the giraffe shouted down. Bring the water up, please. The duke called out. Don't worry about the two top floors. You can't reach them anyway. Who says we can't reach them? The giraffe called back. I do, the duke said firmly. And I'm not having any of your, you risking your silly necks around here. If you wish to be friends with the giraffe, never say anything bad about its neck. Its neck is its proudest po position. What's wrong with my neck? Snapped the giraffe. Don't argue with me, you foolish creature. The Duke said, cried the Duke. If you can't reach it, you can't reach it, and that's the end of it. Now get on with your work. Oh. Your grace, the giraffe said, giving a giving the Duke a small superior smile. There are no windows in the world I can't reach with this magical neck of mine. The monkey who is dancing about most dangerously on the top of the giraffe's head cried out. Show him, giraffe Go on, show him how you're... How... Show him, giraffe What? Where am I trying? Go on, show him what you can do with your magical neck. The next 
moment, the giraffe's neck, which heaven knows how long enough, already began to grow longer and longer and longer and longer and higher and higher and higher until at last the giraffe's head with the monkey on top of its if it's one of its way last level with the windows of the top floor of the giraffe the top floor the giraffe looked down from here from her height her great height and said to the duke how was that? The Duke was speechless, and so was I. It was the most, it was the most magical thing I have ever seen. I had ever seen. More magical than the pal, than even the pelicans, patented, patented beak.